Nothing is untrue. Nothing Good evening, everybody. It is a lovely, cosy evening on a Monday and I'm rather enjoying all my candles being on. We have about five burning in this room at the moment <laughs> and they're all different smells. I never really think about that. All these smells must clash, but they all have the same vibe. They all have the same season in mind, so we should be all right. We've got a bit of a leaf and a bit of a pumpkin, so I'm hoping that they'll mix. <laughs> but today I thought, well, this evening, I thought I would have a little bit of a video with you Keep it nice and short and sweet and cosy and wonderful and warm, hopefully. <laughs> I just thought I'd spend this evening with you. I've got quite a relaxing evening planned. I got as much work as I could do early in time just so we could have a cosy, proper cosy evening. And that's literally my favourite thing to do. If you're not a lover of the cold seasons, having a cosy evening is the way to, to begin to love it, I find. I found when I embraced the cold, and then use it to my advantage. Those evenings on the sofa with the TV and a dressing gown and a pillow or throw or three. That's when I started to love it. I really think if you don't like the cold, the cold times, the cold seasons, have a cozy evening and it might change your mind. Have a try. <laughs> anyway, that's what we're gonna do this evening. Niall is currently out at the gym. He is gonna join me. He does have a little bit of work and I do have a little bit of work to do too. But that's okay, that's a usual cosy eve. We'll have a bit of an edit in there. But apart from that, I think we're gonna have a bath, we're gonna have dinner together. We're gonna, what else are we gonna do? We're gonna watch Game of Thrones together. So, <laughs> I started Game of Thrones last night. Now I, I know I'm very late to the game, like extremely late to the Game of Thrones game. However, I don't know what it was, something always put me off. But I began it last night and I think I like it. I think. So I think me and Nal are gonna watch it this evening. He is obsessed, so he knows what's going on, but he has agreed to re-watch it with me and he helps me understand parts that I find confusing because I feel like it's a confusing series or is that just me? I don't know. At the moment, I find it confusing. I haven't read the book, so I, Niall has, and I think that makes a difference. Blue and Pop are currently trotting about. I should give them some dinner in a little bit, but for now, I just thought I'd start off this little video. I'd probably run a bath in a minute. Hair needs a bit of an old wash. It's looking rather, rather tired and frazzled. <laughs> It hasn't had a wash for four days. It's all dry shampooified. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. A lot of people ask me, how often do I wash my hair because of the gym and, like, sweat and stuff? This is the thing. Dry shampoo is my life. I try to wash it every other day slash th every three days, and it's working. I just look like a frazzled, dry old hag for a day. A witch. I'm fitting with the Halloween autumn theme. <laughs> Anyway, that's enough flapping. Um, I just wanted to quickly though show you because I did go on a bit of a hunt today. Also, what were we thinking in the new dressing gown? I bought it today because my foxy one is too small. I bought it in an extra small and I have no idea why because who likes a tight dressing gown? What was going through my mind last year? I do not know. I mean, I still will wear it, but um, I wanted a big cosy. This one's a medium. It's from Next. We've got little bears all over it. It's the coziest of co's, and we're spending the vlog in it. I apologize for the amount of times I'm gonna say cozy in this video, by the way. But I did do a little bit of a TK Maxx slash HomeSense shop earlier. I was passing by and I thought, you know what? Why not? And my next video I'm hoping will be a little decorating video. Let me know if you wanna see that. So it's gonna be like decorating for autumn, fall kind of vibe. Not Halloween. Actually, is that going to be my next video? No, it's going to be the video after the next. So I've just been getting getting myself prepared. I also want to show you some pillows that I found online earlier. Let me just give you a quick show. I'm not going to show you everything. It's mainly candles. I like candles a lot. <laughs> I have a lot of candles. As you, you will know if you see my videos. But I burn them a lot and we're getting low. <laughs> Well, we're not, but in a month I think they'll be burnt out, so I'm just preparing before everybody takes the pumpkin ones, because they're my favourite. So I've got a pumpkin harvest. This is actually such a nice brand. I've got a couple of candles in this brand, and they're just very, very scentified and strong. This one's got a very spicy smell, but I also have the mulled wine version of this and the white forest, I think. 
and they're lovely. So, and we've got a double wick. Who could go wrong with a double wick and a pumpkin lid? And we've got a nice new throw. I don't think this is going to be in my autumn decorating. It's quite winter-esque, isn't it? This is kind of like, it reminds me of Bambi. That's what it, actually, Bambi's quite autumnal. What do you reckon, Blue? Should we get this out on the autumn decorating video? She's having a sniff, she'll let me know. <laughs> on our big L sofa, we tend to just pop a few throws on it, because then you can just grab it when you're getting cozy on the sofa. It's just nice. It's one of those nice things, you know? This one, I just love the design. I think it's so cute and simple. I love this writing, and I love how this is nice and kind of cartoony. Love it. And a little wooden lid. This one smells wonderful. I just think they make such a nice decoration as well. They really homelyify your house up candles. I really noticed. Now I've began my burning again for the season ahead. Mind you, people bl people burn candles not through winter, don't they? I'm not one of them, but maybe I should be. Maybe I should look for some summer scents next summer. And then, other than that, I don't want to show you too much because I want to want to keep it a secret for decorating day but I'm just going to show you this one other thing because I think it's really lovely so this is kind of like a big big plate <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to put on it yet but it's one of those things that just looks really nice on a table oh, and it's a big leaf do you know what it's very difficult to find autumn decorations that aren't Halloween-y and I think Halloween decorations is it's very difficult to not verge on to cheap like tacky looking but I think this is quite chic and it's a leaf, so I just was like, you know what, why not? Let's have a leaf on the old table. Loving it. But yeah, anyway, that, that I will be decorating the flat in the video after the next. So, well, I hope that you want to see it. But let me know if, if you're excited, because it is going to happen. But yes, I don't want to give, you, give too much away. I will quickly show you, though, these pillars that I just ordered online, which are absolutely beautiful right let me just go and show you these pumpkins and then I pumpkins these pillows and then I need to actually get on with a little bit of work and then we will get cozy when Nile gets home possibly run a bath actually first but I'll let you know <laughs> let me get this up so I went on a site called red bubble I don't know how I came across it but I think it's a site where people kind of make designs and they have the option of either putting them on like a throw or putting it on a t-shirt or putting it on a cushion or a mug things like that I've never seen it before but it popped up and I rather I'm loving it look at this this is one of them and this girl who's selling it designs it herself so I don't know if it'll, there we go look how pretty that is I love it and it's not expensive either love that and then the other one was this one and the reason being is because I last Halloween I dressed Bluebell up as a puppy in a Halloween outfit little dog outfit <laughs> and since then I've called her pumpkin spice and I often sing pumpkin spice in everything nice <laughs> I did that in a, in a tune. So I thought it was quite cute. And I just wanted quite a simple one. I think I'm going to pop them on the bed. Either one or two. But I think this one will definitely go on the bed. Because I think it will go nicely with the peaches. And a nice throw. I'm thinking. There's a lot of handmade, hand designed things. So it's just really uh, quite special. Nice gift actually. It sounds like I'm promoting this website. But I actually just found it and wanted to tell you. Because I thought it was cool. Anyway. I'm going to get on with some editing because I'm ed currently editing, which will have been up. It's my chatty autumn morning morning routine slash get ready with me. And what we belong to, how we reach our destination. Shadows. I'm just currently finishing off today's edit. Just in case you're wondering, actually, a lot of people do, do ask me what software I use. I use iMovie. However, <laughs> I'm just finishing it off and to set the scene because I'm just sat there chatting for so long. I like to put a little bit of background music when there's a long chat. <laughs> just to set a bit of a vibe, you know. And I was trying to think what, what would suit the season. And <laughs> I'm currently looking at Christmas music. It's very subtle Christmas music. 
but it's a little bit Christmassy. The music that I use actually in my YouTube videos is all through a site called Epidemic Sound. So it's actually a subscription site and it's mainly for creators for their videos. So it's like a nice way to find nice music to get in your videos where you don't get copyrighted. But I pay a, a monthly subscription so that I can do that. But just in case you're wondering, but I think there may be a Christmas background music in that vlog. Not sure yet, deciding. This is the one I'm currently on, have a little listen. Okay, that bit doesn't sound good. This is the bit I liked. Not sure it's quite suitable for September. I don't know, that could be pushing my seasonal obsession. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm gonna leave that on pause for a minute. Niall's home now, and I'm feeling a bit peckish, so I think I'm gonna make some dinner with you. Let's go say hi to Niall first. Good evening. Hello. I was talking to Bluebell. Oh. <laughs> joking, I was talking to you. <laughs> Good evening, how was your day, Mr. Chef? Good. You gonna join our cozy evening vlog? I think I am, if you'll have me. Yeah, you can come. You haven't been in many videos recently. <laughs> busy man. Back. I'm a busy man these days. There's I lots had... of people that want me in their vlogs. And, Who else you know, wants you in their vlogs? There's only so many places I can be at once. Hmm? Who else wants you in their vlog? I get a lot of um, offers. Let's just let's just leave it at that, hey? Well, I'm going to make my salmon. Hello, Blue. <laughs> oh, I'm going to make some salmon, some coconut chips, and some broccoli. I'm thinking. My coconut is very simple. I need to do this up because otherwise I'm gonna flash. It's a very simple and like nice, healthy meal, but if you make it right, it's delicious. And coconut chips are delicious. So all I'm gonna do is is cut these into kind of like a wedge, but a thin wedge, and then I microwave, and then we'll move along. Let me start with that first. Too. <laughs> <Stop it. laughs> I'll do in a story. Yeah, it's embarrassing. I, you hate you when I catch you doing stories or not. Has anyone else watched this? Oh, <laughs> me. I don't think you can hear me from the oh, room. You listen to me vlog all the time, it's fine. I'm alright, as long as you go into it confidently. Right? As long as you say I don't care. This is Niall's Otherwise, theory you, behind filming yourself. But if people can, if you people can sense that you're conscious, then that's fine, isn't it? Yeah, when I, I still feel, I was just about to tell everyone, I feel a little bit conscious today because I haven't vlogged in front of you for a few days. Yeah. Comes back, the nerves. Well, I would be nervous in front of me. Rude. Anyway, my coconut chips are out the microwave. They're a bit hot. I put them in for four minutes after they were chopped. And this is how you get a crispy chip. Can you not itch your nose when I'm chatting about chips? I'd like my YouTube channel to be like <laughs> guests on friends. Have this a lot of story. Don't laugh! So in all in all fairness, if you want to film yourself, do do it. And it will be a good day. If you want to start a vlog, do it. Do it, Gil. And that's what I'd like. You just gotta have a chat, you know? Talk about hedgehogs, <laughs> that's what I did in my last video. I was just thinking when they were in the microwave, there is no like secret to this recipe. They are just coconut chips because they are baked in coconut oil <laughs> and salt. That's all I do. I just get some coconut oil on them, get some salt on them, get them in the oven on quite a high heat for about half an hour and you got a crispy coconut chip. Right, while that is all kind of cooking and getting ready, I think I'm gonna run myself a bath. And I actually think I'm gonna eat my food in the bath today. <laughs> I don't usually do that, but I don't know. It's just how the timing has happened today. We're just, we're eating in the bath. It's gonna be all right. So, I love a bath. I don't know about you, but I love a bath. So I thought I'd just set it up with you. Get nice and not cozy. I need to stop saying that. I realized how many times I've already said that. Get nice and snuggly. That's the other word I like, snuggly. You know what though? <laughs> I love a bath, but if you get it too hot, I don't love a bath. It is not a good day. So we need to get the temperature perfect. 
I'm gonna set up and watch Lydia's new vlog on my bath table thingy. She has the best chilled vlogs, and that's my favorite kind of vlog, a chilled one, you know? Nice and chill, just on the sofa having a snuggle. And I think I'm gonna put in some, I think I might put in some Epsom salts as well as a Lush bath bomb. The only issue with bath bombs, which I've really discovered recently, is I can't wash my hair. I don't think, anyway, when I was last in the bath and I had like a sparkly pink bath bomb and I washed my hair, and one, it kind of goes quite dry, but two, I had sparkly hair for days. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to wash my hair in the morning and just enjoy my bath bomb tonight, which I'm okay with. My God. How's your bath going, love? Bit cold. <laughs> no, but I was just on Twitter and saw a new Mary Poppins advert coming out at Christmas time. I used to love that film. Can we go watch it? I've never watched it. Oh my gosh, what did you watch when you were a kid? Lion King. Anything else? No, that was it. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. No, nah, too old. Too old? Excuse me, but I'm younger than you. I used to watch that every night. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go and see the new Mary Poppins film. Look at this advert. This music alone. Do you come along when you did Mary Poppins? That Disney music gets me. <laughs> I literally love it so much. Anyway, enough of Mary Poppins. I think I'm zoomed. I am very excited to watch that at Christmas time. Disney music is just very Christmassy, isn't it? I love it. Anyway, I'm gonna make me and Niall a cup of tea. Ready for our Game of Thrones. Well, it's not gonna be a marathon, it's quite late now, but episode. <laughs> and also, Niall has made a massive batch of, what are in these brownies? Banana, cookie dough, chocolate brownies. His recipe will be, pr no, his recipe probably won't be up when this video's up, but his recipe will be up on his Instagram in a little quick recipe video clip. Do you wanna have a hug? Come on then. How's your day? Oh, nice. Thanks for the eye lick. <laughs> we miss you on the vlogs. Where have you been? You went in the get ready with me. You slept through. What was the one before that? Week, a week in the life. She wasn't in very much. What was before that? PLT haul. She wasn't in very much. She's licking my scrunchie now because it's been in the bath. <laughs> She's fabulous though. It's all fine in the bluebell life. <laughs> oh, you look so cute, Blue. I'm in position. Got the blanket at the ready. This is what I meant by we have throws all over our sofa. So we've got one in that corner, one right here, one in that corner. If you can see, there's a little navy. And there's a little baby pink over there. So four opportunities to grab a comfy blanket and get cozy. Anyway, we are going to sit here, have a cup of tea, not for Bluey, but me. <laughs> That's a big rhyme. I need to brownie all three and watch Game of Thrones and get snuggly. <laughs> There's another rhyme. I don't know what else I'm gonna film tonight, to be honest, because we're just gonna be hanging out here now. But if we don't talk to you again in this vlog, thank you very much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed our, I think it'll be quite a short, cozy night in, in. <laughs> but I suppose that's nice, because sometimes change it. Oh, oh, here we go, the intro dance. You're out of focus, sauce. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you in the next video which is going to be a vloggy vlog. Going to go on a nice dog walk, have a sing. There's also home vlogs at the moment. I feel like the, the cold bring, brings that out in me but there will be some non-home vlogs coming soon too and some non-autumnal vlogs coming soon too. But maybe soon. only one but we like the autumnal vlogs. Happy autumn! It's actually no, it won't be autumn quite yet. Apparently autumn starts on Sunday, but it won't quite be Sunday when this video goes up. So, final vlog before autumn begins. What is it this year that's so special about autumn? Hedgehogs. Okay. Hedgehogs. Look at that. I'm next to a hedgehog, and I got a hedgehog on my pyjama. Bye.